Hello, my beautiful Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. We are moving on to your weekly reading from January 17th all the way to January 23rd, 2021. Please remember that this is a general reading. This will not relate to every single Libra as there's many of you out there. Please take in consideration your Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising and check out those other readings and check which reading resonates best for you. This will be a three-part video. The first part is going to be a general reading. The second part is going to be for my Libra singles. The third part is going to be for my Libra couples. We will be using oracle cards to set the theme for each reading. We will begin with the general. We will be using the Archangel Power Deck. Let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, angels, and guides, what is the theme for my Libras for January 17th to the 23rd, 2021? What is the theme for my Libras? Oh, that one wants to come, so let's see what this one's about. Ace of Ariel. It is your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or a promotion. So it looks like money, success, possibly a new job. Something's coming your way that has to do with finances. We love that start, don't we, Libra? I hope you guys are enjoying your year thus far. I have done all the 2021 annual prediction readings, so make sure you check your video out for your annual reading for this year. I will tell you it's a good year for just about every zodiac sign, so make sure you look up your 2021 reading after you watch this video. All right, we have the tower crowning the position here. Don't freak out because you saw the tower. I know a lot of people see the tower and they freak out. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not always a, a bad thing. All right. We have the king of swords. All righty. All right. We have the six of pentacles. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Outcome. So this is definitely a money reading, Libra. Now, what's crowning your reading is the Tower. So the theme that's sitting here is Universe is forcing you to start all over again. That doesn't mean that you're going to be hitting rock bottom. It is going to be something that's shocking to you, something that's disrupted for you. But it's something that needs to happen in order for your money to come in. The universe never does things for us for our own for to, to knock us down. This is the universe forcing you to start in a new position because the foundation that you're doing right now is not working for you, Libra. So sometimes the universe forces us out of our comfort zone in order to bless us with things. And that's what's happening. I'm telling you that right now. See, I told you. I told you. See, this is a celebration card. This is a happiness card. This is success. Universe is forcing you out of whatever position that you're doing right now to make money. It is forcing you to come out of that position so it can set you up for a better position. This is you riding on your high horse here. All right, Libra? So don't be scared of this. Don't resist this. The reason this is happening, because in the past, this is your energy. You are swords energy in the tarot. You are air. So something happened in the past where you took charge. Or you took charge of a situation. And we're going to figure out what happened. Now the reason we need to know about the past. Is that's what sets us up for the present and the future. Yep. In the past you set yourself in a way to where you wanted to actually start enjoying life. When I see the Page of Cups here, this is something that's telling you, hey, you got to enjoy life's pleasures. It's not all work. It's not all serious all the time. Libra, you need to balance your life. You need to balance your work. And you need to enjoy life. Libra, you're all about that. You are represented by the signs of the scales. You're all about balance, peace, and harmony. In fact, that goes on into the present position. I don't know if you're looking at this guy, but he's holding the scales. He's maintaining balance. This is somebody who has success. This is someone who has a lot of money. This is someone who has a very generous heart. This is what's in your present position right now, Libra. So I would like to know, Libra, in the comments, what tower moment you had in order for you to progress. Or if you haven't had it, or what tower moment you think is coming. I would love to know. 
but I know it's something that's good. I do know that. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So money is coming to you. It is coming to you, but you got to be patient, all right? You have to be patient, and the reason that there might not be patience on your end is because something came crashing down so quickly. You're wondering, okay, when am I going to recover? When am I going to rebuild? When am I going to get my finances? Don't worry. Universe got you. The universe has you, all right? Just be patient. See this angel? This angel is watching over you, telling you to calm your thoughts, change your thinking, make sure you're only thinking positive thoughts because our thoughts become energy, energy becomes physical, and that's what comes into our present, all right? Be patient. Remember, we have Angel Ariel saying, it's your lucky day. New resources, new resources of money, time, or support. This is new because it took away the old, all right? Because in the outcome, I see the Queen of Pentacles. Take care of your body. Take care of your health. This is somebody who's very resourceful with money. She's nurturing. She's loving. This is somebody who's in a very high position. That's you, Libra. You'll be having money. You'll be having success. You'll be happy. You'll be at peace. Your finances will be in order here. I want to know if this is a new job. I, I want to know if the universe took you out of your job. I want to know if the universe took you out of your old position at your job and gave you a promotion. I want to know if you were given a business opportunity. I want to know what happened. I want to know what your tower moment is because it's looking like it was the best thing that could have happened to you. And let me tell you this right now, Libra. If the universe didn't intervene, you probably wouldn't have done it. So this is divine intervention here. Yes. I don't know what you did, Libra, but you put the work into something in order to manifest this Queen of Pentacles position. I'm not calling you a female. I know you could be a male watching this right now, but you did something, something to make this happen, all right? I don't know if you made connections in the past. I don't know if you impressed somebody in the past and they remembered you and they thought of you and they gave you this opportunity or maybe you made an investment in the past and now it's paying off and that's why you have to be patient. But yes, you have money coming your way. It might be in the most unexpected way, but it's because the universe is shining upon you. It's bringing you luck. It's bringing you support and it, your universe has heard your call, Libra. You are having balance, which is what you're all about. All right, beautiful reading, Libra. Please hit that like button. It supports my channel. It helps me grow. You can also support my work by making a donation to one of the links below. I have a Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App. But then again, liking, sharing, subscribing is more than enough support. Now we're going to be moving on to the Libra Singles reading. Love you. Hello, my beautiful Libra Singles. We are moving on to your weekly reading from January 17th all the way to January 23rd, 2021. Please keep in mind, this will not relate to every single Libra Single. So look up your Venus, Moon, and Rising along with your Sun sign. Check out all the readings and see which reading best resonates with your circumstance. We will be using the Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue to set the theme for the reading. Now let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, Angels, and Guides, what is the romantic theme for my Libras Singles? For the week of January 17th to the 23rd, 2021. What's the romantic theme for my Libra singles? Ooh, Spirit wants me to stop there, so I'll stop. See what we got. Past life relationship. You have known each other before, so you will be meeting somebody. It could be from a past life, or it could be somebody from your past coming back. So let's find out what's going on, Libra. Spirit, angels, and guides, what do my Libra singles need to know for the week of January 17th to the 23rd, 2021? What do my Libra singles need to know regarding love? Okay, we got the Seven of Swords. Please remember that if I mention any zodiac signs, it could be in their Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. All right, we have a page of wands in the past position. Okay, card fell. Let's see what we got. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the present position. We have the Devil. All right, so... 
I'm telling you right now, Libra, someone is going to come back. Zodiac signs I see are a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I do see Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong Capricorn because I have the devil card here that could be in their sun, moon, Venus, or rising. The thing that concerns me is that we have the seven of swords crowning the reading. This is someone who's deceptive. This is somebody who has ulterior motives. So this might be a person who you know in the past who you know is not genuine about emotion or commitment, but they are coming around. I'm just going to let you know that right now. They are coming around. If this is not them, this is you. Remember that the energies are interchangeable here. Take the energies and place them where they most belong, where they fit. Yes, this is somebody who's going to remain emotionally unavailable. It's not that they don't have emotions. It's not that they have feelings, but they're not going to release those. So they do have an ulterior motive coming for you, Libra. The page of wands is in the past position. So this is somebody who was definitely very creative, very witty, very funny. They were very passionate, but there's someone who there's someone who probably didn't their actions didn't match their words. Someone who's very um, impatient, very kind of impulsive, does have fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus or Rising. So this is somebody that's in your past. I think you know who I'm talking about. No spirit told me you know exactly who I'm talking about, Libra. So I got to quit trying to say I think because spirit lets me know that all the time. In fact, when I said that, it said 333 on my camera. So which means divine, the divine was talking to me. Yeah. There were some, but you like to be in balance, Libra. You are represented by the scale. I think this person kind of rocked you. Out of your balance, this is somebody who was kind of playing tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. This is someone you definitely had some fun times with. I will say you that. They were fun. But they didn't give you the commitment that you wanted. All right. Looks like you guys had your fun and they walked away. But now we have the Knight of Pentacles in a present position. All right. They are slowly creeping around, Libra, waiting for the right moment to approach you and come towards you. So I want to know what their motives are because I see deception crowning. All right. They are emotionally unavailable. It's like they want to take but not give. All right. However, you might be up for this. You never know. Because there are single people who want to remain single, but yet they want to have a little bit of fun. You never know. Let's see what that card is about. Okay. I got the Ten of Swords here. Maybe I need some more clarification. Okay, so yeah, this is a past person. I have that energy with the judgment card. I do have the Ten of Swords. So whatever offer they're coming around, it's definitely not one of love. They're going to try to basically say, hey, Libra, can we put an end to the past? Can we just forget about it? Can we start a new Libra? But I want to know why they want to start anew. Why are they trying to make you forget about the past? Why are they trying to make you end it and think of not think about it? I want to know what they want. <laughs> I see you being stagnant, being you being in hesitation, not really making a decision here. Could be dealing with the Pisces as well. I see that with the hangman. It's like they're being, they're not exactly telling you what they want, Libra. They do want to start a new beginning with you. They do. However, it's not genuine. Because what I have here in the outcome is the devil card. Could be done with the Capricorn. The devil card is toxic. It's toxic environments, toxic situation. It also is representative of lust. 
So they might want just to have a good time with you, you know, get all the benefits of a relationship, but not have to actually commit. If you're okay with that Libra, then go ahead and keep doing this, you know, but just let me tell you, give you advice though. If this is all they want from you, there's good times without the, the commitment, then you need to tell them, uh, from, hey, do me a favor, whoever you are, cut the bullshit. Don't lie to me. Just tell me what you want and let me know if I, I'm okay with it. All right. Oh, too many cards, too many cards, too many cards. I want to know if you're going to, if you're going to go for it. All right. Let's find out if you're going to go for it, Libra. Hmm. You know, they're, you know, I have the seven of swords again here. You know, they're not trying to get back together in a relationship. You know this. You know how they're distrusting. You know that they're sneaky. But you're still thinking about it. Why are you still thinking about it? You know how they are. You know they can't be trusted. And yet you're still contemplating it. Libra, I get that we get lonely. And I'm not here to judge you. I get that we get lonely from time to time. And sometimes we settle for things less than what we deserve. All right? card fell. But let me tell you, if you go for this, you're going to be left feeling out in the cold. All right. It's not going to fulfill you. Libra, you are ruled by Venus. You're made to be in a relationship. You're made to be with a partnership. So yeah, don't get me wrong. I know there's some Libras who go out there, have their fun, but at the end of the day, they're still Libras. They're still ruled by Venus. Libra is a sign of partnership. This won't be enough to satisfy you, Libra. All right. But if you want to give it a go, give it a go. But I will tell you, according to this, it will leave you feeling out left in the cold. All right. Now, I do tell people this all the time. Tarot is a good insight into the past, present, or future. It is not the end-all, be-all. The future outcome does not have to be the future outcome because this part is the prediction. This stuff has already happened and this is happening. If we don't want this to happen, we got to change our present circumstances, our present actions and our present situation so the outcome can change. I will tell you that if the reading does resonate with you, Libra, please hit that like button and help support my channel. Help me help other people. Help me help those that you care about and love. You can also support my work by making a donation to one of the links below. I have a Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. We're going to be moving on to my Libra couples. Love you. Hello, my beautiful Libra couples. We are moving on to your love reading for the week of January 17th all the way to January 23rd, 2021. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. This will not apply to every single one of you. Look up your sun, moon, Venus, or rising along with your sun sign. Check out all the readings and take which reading resonates best for your situation. We're using the Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue to set the theme for the reading. Now let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, Angels, and Guides, what is the romantic theme for my Libra couples? Spirit, angels, and guides, what's the romantic theme for my Libra couples? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right. So if you're already in a relationship, this might mean that someone's either feeling neglected or they're unsure of how you're feeling. Or maybe you're trying to figure out where this relationship is going if we're going for the next step. Let's find out. Spirit, angels, and guides, what do my Libra couples need to know for the week of January 17th to January 23rd? Spirit, angels, and guides, what do my Libra couples need to know? We got the page of, so of wands crowning the reading. Please remember if I mention any zodiac sign, it could be in their sun, moon, Venus, or rising. So keep that in mind. All right, we have the Three of Wands in the past. Temperance in the present position. All right, and we have the Ace of Swords and the outcome. Beautiful. All right, Zodiac signs I see. I see Sagittarius. I see Leo 
Aries, again, Sagittarius with the wands. I see Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. All right, that could be in their sun, moon, Venus, or rising. So I do see the page of wands here. That's what's crowning the reading. So if this is a new relationship or a new marriage, something that's new that's in this relationship, someone's ready to make a new a new gesture, like the card says. Something, a new passionate thing going on in the relationship. Now, I do see that in the past, or maybe in past thinking, someone's like, hey, looking on the other side. Like, they're sitting there comfortable on their post, but it's like they're ready to look out into the horizon, ready to make a new journey, ready to make a new step forward, so to speak. So this is somebody contemplating this. Same thing here with the Page of Wands energy. So I'm going to get some clarification here and here, and then we'll move on to the present and the outcome cards. Uh, you could be dealing with a Gemini. I have the lovers. So Libra, you see this as someone who is your soulmate. You really, truly love them and you feel deeply connected to them. That You feel like they're, they're, they're your divine other half. So I believe you're either ready to say, hey, I'm ready to date only you. Let's be a couple. Let's be boyfriend and girlfriend. Let's be boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend. Let's make that step. Or if you're married, Libra, you're probably looking for another way to grow your love or grow your relationship. So let's keep on going to the Three of Wands here. I also heard for my married Libras, you guys might be planning a second honeymoon or maybe renewing your vows. For the ones who are just dating, you guys are definitely ready to make a commitment to that other person, that's for sure. I will say that. Yes, because I see the Queen of Pentacles here. She is someone who's about commitment. She is someone who's nurturing. She is someone who's loving. She is someone who's practical. Again, you could be dating. Uh, you could be with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. So you could be with a person who's just like that. This is someone who you see as potential. Someone who could be your future mate. Someone who could you could see the long haul with. That's in the past position. So you are already debating this now. Now right here we have temperance. We have you trying to control your thoughts. We have you trying to be patient. Trying to really make sure that this is truly the right decision here. This is, so, this is you being knowledgeable and being practical and using your mind to make a decision. You're trying to balance your mind over your heart, with, along with your heart. Balance. How do you know? You're a Libra. You're all about that balance. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. That is for sure. Yeah, Libra. You are either, you're definitely ready to just be committed to only this person. All right. This is something that says celebration, success, and achievement. So you are ready to be fully just committed to this person. Libra, married couples, you guys are definitely going to either renew your wedding vows or do some type of grand um, trip planning your love. It's something that's where it's going to deepen your bond. All right. I don't see children. If that's what you're wondering, oh, could it be children? I don't see it so far. I'm not saying that that's not possible, but I just don't see that right now. So I do see a second honeymoon, a renewing of vows from married couples. I do see my couples who are just dating, making a full commitment and just being with each other. I do see that. So yeah. You guys are definitely taking up that next phase. You guys are being very romantic. You're being very sweet. I mean, Libra, you are ruled by Venus. You are a very romantic sign. You are made for partnership because in the outcome, Libra, I see victory. I see victory. Ace of Swords is victory. All right? You have picked a great partner to be with and make a commitment with. You've made a wonderful partner here. You've, you've picked the right person. Or maybe this is somebody picking you. Remember, the energies are interchangeable. So this could be you, Cross Watchers.
Oh, yes, look at this. Now for a small percentage of you, a small percentage, I see children coming. I see children coming in your future. For those of you who are married, or maybe not married but committed, I do see children coming along in your future. However, for those who are not married, those who don't have any children coming, those who are looking for a commitment or to renew their vows, I definitely see it expanding your love. I do see it expanding your love. It's beautiful. Beautiful. All right, my Libra couples, if you like this reading, please hit that like button. Please share and subscribe. It supports my channel. It helps my channel grow. You can also support my work by making a donation to one of the links below. I have a Venmo, PayPal, and Cash app. Thank you so much for stopping by. I love you. Till next week. Namaste.